India's reigning national champion Divya Deshmukh takes on IM Aditya Samant at the Dubai Open 2022. Aditya recently scored his first GM norm at the Abu Dhabi Masters with a 2700 plus performance. In this position, Divya is 4 points down but she is an exchange up and she pins the bishop on e7. What does Aditya do? He brings his rook to e8. And Divya moves in with her king to f5. On first look, it seems like black should be better with all the material advantage that he has. But look at white's active pieces. They are just so strong. So Aditya pushes his pawn to h3. Even a look at the clock can tell you that Divya feels comfortable in this position. She has 5 minutes, 13 seconds. Aditya has only 41 seconds. He's trying to distract one of the rooks with his edge pawn, which he can give up because then he would have three central pawns here. Divya brings her rook back to b3. She wants to swing her rook over here, pick up this pawn and enter from the other side. How does Aditya deal with this? He has just 10 seconds left on the clock. 8, 7, goes rook h8 and Divya moves in instantly to b7 and Aditya comes back. And Divya goes back. Well, Aditya gained a precious minute on the clock to think while Divya tried to limit as much time as she could that Aditya would get to think. Now, what does he do? Once again, he's down to very little time. He goes rook g8 this time, not h8. And his plan is if Divya were to snap off this pawn on h3, he would give a check on g5. With 6 minutes on the clock, Divya once again moves to b7. What does Aditya do? Because once he gives a check on g5, the white king moves back. There is no way that this rook can defend the bishop which is pinned. So it would mean sacrificing an entire rook. Believe it or not, that position is still playable. But Aditya has very little time to decide. Now 10 seconds left on the clock. 8, 7, 6. And he goes back to e8. Divya gives a stare to her opponent and looks at the score sheet. She knows that the position has been repeated three times. Now, if she were to play rook b3, it's a draw. But when you want to claim a threefold repetition, you shouldn't be making your move on the board. Uh, Divya there drinking water, taking her time because she knows that she has the draw in her hand. What essentially you should be doing is you should write down the move rook b3 on your score sheet, pause the clock and call the arbiter, not make the move on the board because once you execute this move on the board, it is black's turn now and then you cannot claim a threefold repetition. So Divya just checking, making those final checks on the score sheet, whether she has the draw or not and also checking the position for any chances to play on. Well, after a minute of thought, she tells her opponent that she's going to play rook b3 and it's a threefold repetition. Aditya says you can call the arbiter. Divya calls the arbiter there and tells him that she's going to play rook b3. Arbiter asks Aditya if you agree to a draw. Aditya says, I think we'll have to check it in the computer. And so rook b3 is written down on the score sheet there. And Aditya also is not so short because he was under so much time pressure. Both the players are called by the arbiter. Uh, he's the chief arbiter of the tournament, Mahdi Abdul Rahim, a very experienced arbiter, has been there at World Championship as well uh, between Magnus and Nepo right now that happened in Dubai. And uh, both the players now stand there as the arbiter will check whether there is a threefold repetition or not that has happened. The arbiter opens the chessboard there and goes to the game. Divya says she's going to play rook b3 and that would be a threefold repetition. So the arbiter now says this is the first time this has happened. This is the second time 
and this would be the third time when divya would play rook b3 and so it's a draw it's a three fold repetition and a draw has to be agreed in this position divya did it the right way maybe she could have just written down her move and paused the clock but the most important part here is not to play your move on the bo board before claiming a draw Shine the score sheet, and a draw has been made. 